you like real news. This is today's TMJ4 with Mike Couchet, Carol Meekins, and the Night Team. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, several stories are on tap for a final toast to Cheers. We'll take you to the Boston bar that is the heart and soul of the Cheers party. We'll go to Brookfield, where the crowds are gathered to tune in to television history. And we're going to go to your neighborhood bar with a look at local places where everybody knows your name. But first, a look at tonight's news and our top story, the problem of kids and crime. There are new developments tonight in three different cases involving three 15-year-old crime victims. Milwaukee police have now arrested two high school classmates of Charlene Dvorak, the girl found brutally beaten on Friday. Greendale police have now identified the girl found in the Root River Sunday and are treating Jenna Gonzalez's death as a homicide. And Milwaukee police again asked for help in solving the murder of Vernell Anderson. We begin with the break in the Charlene Dvorak case. Tomorrow, two Pulaski High School teenagers will be in juvenile court. They're being held in connection with the beating death of the 15-year-old girl who was their classmate. As friends and family remember 15-year-old Charlene Dvorak, word comes that two Pulaski High School students are in custody in connection with her death. Her badly beaten body was found Friday along these railroad tracks. We are confident that these two individuals are solely responsible for this, uh, for this homicide. Both suspects were on probation for previous run-ins with the law. Suspect number one was arrested at 14 for receiving stolen property and a year later for possession of a dangerous weapon. Suspect number two was arrested just three weeks ago for possession of a dangerous weapon. He allegedly threatened to bust someone's head. In fact, suspect number two was in children's court Friday for this still pending case, just hours after the beating. Today's news sent shockwaves through Pulaski High School. Makes you kind of afraid, you know, to walk around and just make someone kill you next, you know? My feelings are like messed up because I knew the guy and I sort of knew Charlene and that, and it's just unbelievable. I don't know what to think in that. And one teen we're not identifying was attacked and raped along the same railroad tracks where Charlene's body was found. I'm very upset. Um, I can't believe that it happened to her. And tonight, police still don't know why Charlene Dvorak was killed. And the death of another 15-year-old girl, Jenna Gonzalez, is now being treated as a homicide. The teenager's body was found in the Root River Sunday. As 19 reporter Mike Strelo tells us, it's Greendale's first murder ever. We have to start somewhere. We have no beginning. We have the end. A tragic end to a young life. The body of 15-year-old Jenna Gonzalez was found Sunday in the Root River. The medical examiner says the Oak Creek girl died of a skull fracture, but more test results are needed to determine what caused the fatal injuries. Until that time, we can't absolutely rule it as a homicide, but we are definitely investigating that one at this time. Jenna Gonzalez was reported missing by her family May 8th. However, after talking to several people, Greendale police have determined that she was last seen May 12th two days before her body was found here in the Root River. Police say at this point in the investigation, they cannot reveal where she was last seen. Jenna's aunt wants people to take a good look at this picture and call police if they know something. We have to have a lead to know what happened so it can't happen ever again to anyone else. For the night team, Mike Stralo, today's TMJ4. And once again, Milwaukee police are asking for your help in solving the murder of Vernell Anderson. Vernell was the other 15-year-old found dead in the last week. His body found in a Northside home. Police say if you know anything about his death, please give them a call. Police are also investigating an unusual holdup at this automated teller machine on the Marquette University campus. A Wells Fargo employee was robbed at gunpoint early this morning as he was loading the ATM with cash. The masked robber reportedly got away with nearly $40,000 in $20 bills. Mysteriously, police say there was no surveillance tape in the ATM machine when the robbery occurred. Plans for the multi-million dollar Target distribution center in Oconomowoc are finally moving forward even after two restraining orders were denied today. The planning commission is still working on a conditional use permit tonight. It's discussing site plans, construction and operation. If the permit is approved, Target would receive a building permit immediately. Plans have already been approved by the state. Well, it's been more than 30 years since it was built and now the McKinley Marina may finally get its first major facelift. The waterfront plan won't be unveiled until next week, but 19 reporter Lynn Sprangers has some of the details tonight. 
A group of nationally recognized waterfront developers has put together a long-range plan that could correct the most frequent complaints about McKinley Marina. The plan suggests improvements in stages, four to perhaps as much as $10 million worth. The first chunk of money would be directed at the breakwater area, correcting water and wave problems, the damage slips and piers. Other plans could include upgraded boat slips and extras such as restaurants and shower areas to improve the atmosphere. Why now, given the county's precarious finances? Well, damage repairs are becoming cost prohibitive, and the county has an excellent chance of securing $2 million in special waterfront development money if the community can agree on a plan. The community will also need to agree on some creative financing to complete the project. It's now or perhaps never, according to some county officials, who fear they're losing precious tourism dollars to modern marinas like Racine, which have many of the perks voters here long for. County Executive Amon will unveil his plan for this marina on Monday afternoon at a public hearing. It's just a preliminary plan. He wants to know what the public, in particular the boating public, has to say about the improvements that need to be made here at McKinley Marina. For the night team, Lynn Sprangers, today's TMJ4. State health experts now say 370,000 people became ill during Milwaukee's crypto crisis. Half of those people lived on the south side and got their water from the Howard Avenue treatment plant. But crypto cases were reported throughout the five-county metro area. Democrat Peter Barca of Kenosha will be going to Washington as the new 1st District Congressman. Republican Mark Newman had challenged Barca's May 2nd victory, but a recount shows Newman still trailing and Newman is expected to concede tomorrow. A former Green Bay man apparently killed cult leader David Koresh before turning the gun on himself. A Houston newspaper says that's the theory of pathologists. They say when the fire started in the compound, Stephen Schneider leveled a rifle at Koresh's forehead pulled the trigger and then shot himself in the face. The four ATF agents killed in the Waco standoff were honored today in the nation's capital. Friends and loved ones remembered their bravery. The agents were killed in a gun battle with cult members. And President Clinton says he's greatly saddened by the deaths of four Marines. Their helicopter crashed near this Maryland neighborhood yesterday. Two Wisconsin men were aboard, 33-year-old Scott Reynolds of Wausau and 27-year-old Tim Sable of Ripon. The crash is under investigation. The site of a jet crash in Columbia may have to be declared a cemetery. A grim assessment tops our world report tonight. The Colombian airliner with 132 people aboard crashed in a remote mountainous area northwest of Medellin. There were apparently no survivors. Seven Americans were on the flight. An investigation is underway. Venezuela's president will stand trial on criminal charges. Carlos Andres Perez is charged with stealing 17 million government dollars. The country's cabinet resigned in response. With a stroke of a pen, President Clinton made it easier for every American to register to vote. The so-called motor voter bill allows people to register when applying for a driver's license. Clinton signed the bill into law today. And Boston's mayor signed a proclamation today officially declaring this Cheers Day. The long-running primetime hit, of course, came to an end tonight. But there's still a big party going on at the bar in Boston that inspired the entire show. NBC's Al Roker joins us live via Skylink 4 from Boston. Well, thanks a lot, Mike and Carol. And I'll tell you, it is incredible here. We've got thousands of people here on Beacon Street. We've got 715 people in these bleachers waiting for Jay Leno to do his monologue live. And we got the cast and crew downstairs at, of course, the Bull and Finch. A lot of memories have been made over the last 11 years. But what about the cast and members' memories? For 11 years, Sam and the crew have been here. Well, tonight, they look back on their favorite moments at Cheers. Why am I coming back here? And the place, the bar, you know, a bunch of losers who can't make it on their own. There's something appealing, and we are funny. They have been consistently funny, the shows. Around here, when guys get together to send another guy off to his doom, things can get a little raunchy. Mm. <laughs> you fellas ever dress up farm animals in women's clothing? No. Well, then I'm one up on you. That was a good time the whole, the whole 11 years. Uh, and to single out, you know, one... One moment would just be, you know, just too... I couldn't, no. We could. After all, it wasn't all that often that Norm even left the bar. See you in the morning, I guess, huh? Yeah, I may be a little late. Oh, that's okay. I had a key made. <laughs> My favorite show was the Thanksgiving show, where we had a big food fight. Tom Malone. 
kiss your butt goodbye. <laughs> You know, Mike and Carol, what's interesting, uh, the, the, the cast has been sticking their heads out of these windows periodically, and the, crew, the, the folks out here are going nuts. Uh, it is just a really incredible part, a place to be uh, tonight here in Boston. I, I wish you guys could join us. Yeah, I do too, Al. Thanks a lot. Looks like a good time. Al Roker joining us on Skylink 4 from Boston. And this party at the Bull and Finch will go into the night. Crew members spent the day getting ready to broadcast the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Now, this will be the first time the Tonight Show has originated from a non-studio location. Of course, you can see it right here on today's TMJ4, right after the news. Well, our Cheers coverage is just beginning. Mike Jacobs is out at a huge Cheers celebration. And right now, some Cheers trivia. Cheers premiered September 30th, 1982. The series was nominated for 111 Emmys, including Outstanding Comedy Series, in each of its seasons. If you want a real car value, get into the special edition Buick Regal. Value priced at just $17,999. Of course, there are some things you don't get. You don't get a small engine. You get Buick's biggest V6. You don't get ordinary brakes. You get anti-lock brakes. You don't get cloth. You get plush leather, plus air, remote keyless entry, full power, concert sound stereo, and special trim. The special edition Buick Regal, an unbeatable value at just $17,999, which means if you don't hurry, you just don't get it. You could say it's because it's the only charcoal grill that starts with the push of a button. Or because its stainless steel work surface opens to a charcoal storage bin. That the flip-up cooking grate gives easier access to the char baskets below. Or that the simple stroke of a lever clears the ashes in a single sweep. The Weber Performer Grill. Of all the great features that have been put into it, perhaps the best feature is what you get out of it. If it's Weber, it's great outdoors. This weekend, buy direct from Steinhoffel's Warehouse and save up to 80% on quality furniture. Steinhoffel's Warehouse Sale, New Berlin. The two for sale and Sunday. The two for sale and Sunday. Final week, everyone get to cons. Emergency, emergency. You think they got it? Uh, yeah, I think so. No one. I've done this. Now what? I've invented a rippled flake. Ripples, isn't that nice? I'm going to call it Ripple Crisp Cereal. I think the world has enough flakes, Dad. But these are the only ones with ripples. Ripples. That's how I pack in a big, crunchier taste. Try it. It's really good. New Ripple Crisp Cereal. For a big, crunchy taste, you gotta have ripples. You actually come up with something this time. The car. The equipment. The advantage, the offer, the time, the place. Welcome back, everyone. You know, cheers watching parties are going on everywhere tonight. And now Mike Jacobs joins us from one of the biggest. Hello, Mike. Hi, Mike and Carol. You know, you might have expected a wake given the passing of cheers. But this going away party, sponsored by the folks at 94 WKTI, was full of laughter and even a few tears. As the folks here at Rumors toasted cheers one last time. It may not be Boston, but Milwaukee had plenty of cheers of its own tonight. Woody was there, and so was Diane. In fact, there's a Cheers look-alike contest later tonight, and believe me, everyone will know their names. Uh, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but now I've pretty much grown accustomed to it since people do approach me all the time. I liked her. Some people said she was a snob. I thought she was pretty nice. Do you regret having left the show? Yes, I do. They even call me Sammy at the bar. Everybody right. calls me Sammy. And how does that feel? Yeah, I don't care. It's kind of... Kind of... Um, a compliment sometimes, I guess. So are you sad to see the closing of Cheers? Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah. Spend a lot of time there? No. No. <laughs> Some, somewhat. So, I mean, you really are a pretty good ringer. 
that's what they tell me. Yeah, and uh, what's that like? What? It's normal. It's, they, always, they call me Norm at work, and I'm used to it. Robert Suselzik of Milwaukee won the Barstool, sponsored by uh, today's TMJ4 and 94 WKTI. Oddly enough, she plans to take it at work, won't even use it as a real Barstool at her home. And for those folks who are uh, mourning the passing of Cheers, hey, it'll live on forever in television reruns. Mike and Carol. You've got a real tough assignment tonight, Mike. <laughs> okay, thanks Everybody's a lot. Everybody's in good cheers. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike. Good. Uh, well, if there's anywhere in the country with places where everybody knows your name, it has got to be around here. So Nancy Chandler went looking for the ideal Cheers-like bar, and here's what she found. Mike and Carol, the problem is there are so many great neighborhood taverns, you can't just pick one. The TV show may be over, but from Germantown to Kenosha, Bayview to Waukesha, people will still have places to go to say cheers. There's people that hang around here that are regulars that you can, uh, there's a Norm and a Cliff and, and Sam alone. Step inside Zaz's State House and you'll find the conversation as warm as the mozzarella marinara. From sports to politics, any topic is fair game. I've been coming here for about eight years now. Customers and employees say they have no problem relating to their famous counterparts. We well, get the same kind of colorful characters, different people that come in every day, or at least four or five times a week. Did you see how much that guy looks like Woody, the one behind the bar? She noticed that, yeah. He looks a lot like him. But this isn't Woody, and this certainly isn't Boston. No, Saz's is a Milwaukee tradition that's the toast of the town. West in Waukesha, you'll find the crew at Club 400 just as nutty as the Cheers gang. With an owner named Pokey and regulars like Rocky, you begin to wonder why the sitcom wasn't filmed here. It's like uh, popcorn and butter. The club is the place. Club 400 certainly qualifies as a Cheers look-alike. From the pool table to the patrons, it's a place to take a break from all your worries. Like Cheers, the club sure would help a lot. And there's more. Pubs with personality are everywhere. Whether you're at Rhino's in Glendale for a burger, a beer, and a laugh, or heading to Echo Bowl for spares, strikes, and a soda. It's clear the real-life characters will keep creating new episodes of Cheers around here for years to come. While many people say they will miss Cheers the sitcom, they're comfortable knowing they still have their own neighborhood hangouts, where, as the song goes, people are all the same. Mike and Carol. Okay, thank you very much, Nancy. Well, we're going to join Paul Joseph with the forecast next. But first, some more Cheers trivia. Did you know that William Devane and Fred Dreyer were finalists for the role of Sam Malone? Hollywood made some major flubs when they filmed the Major League right here in Milwaukee. Tomorrow at 10 on today's TMJ4. At First Star Bank, our new car loan rate can put you in the driver's seat. That's good news for those times when life leaves you up in the air. Call or visit First Star Bank. Dave finished the marathon in two hours, 40 minutes. Janet and her entire family finished in six hours, 20 minutes. And sweet Mrs. Jackson finished in three hours, six minutes. No sweat, honey. Join the marathon for yourself and take 20 to 50% off new spring and summer merchandise starting Friday. With fashion, quality, value, and service, the Yonkers Marathon Sale. You better wear your running shoes. Yonkers opens at 9 a.m. Friday and Saturday. When you see news happen, call today's TMJ4 tip line at 963-4444. Or call toll-free Star 4 on your Ameritech mobile cellular phone. There's big news where hot and cool connect. Hot eat. The new Royal Fudge and Cake. Unbelievable! Moist chocolate cake and creamy smooth soft serve come together with hot fudge and rich toppings for a great new taste from Dairy Queen. Choose from three luscious flavors. Hot fudge with cherry, hot fudge with butterscotch, and hot fudge with strawberry. The Royal Fudge and Cake Treat, new at Dairy Queen. Hot cheats, cool treats. We treat you right. This calls for relaxation. Oh, hey, a girl. chance to shoot the breeze. 
Wisconsin Bell is Ameritech, your link to a better life. At First Star Bank, our loan lines are open all day and all night, so you can apply for car loans, home equity loans, lots of loans anytime. That's loan by phone. It's got everyone pretty wound up. Just call 765 4000, 24 hours a day to apply. Paul Joseph Weather, today's TMJ4. Good evening. I hope you had a nice day. Still another cool spring day over Wisconsin. 60s in southern Wisconsin, 62 the official high in Milwaukee, 50s to the north. It's not going to warm much tomorrow. You'll see more sunshine. Sun around this morning, then it clouded up. The reason it's been cool, the jet stream has been right out of Canada, bringing the cool air across our state. A little bit of change expected. Look what the computer's projecting into the weekend. This should help warm us up as a trough develops to the west of us. But by Saturday night or maybe Sunday, we'll have a chance for some thunderstorms. What you get up tomorrow morning should be dry. Sunrise, 523, partly cloudy, 7 o'clock temperature, 46 by noon. 56 degrees. Partly to mostly cloudy out there now, 53 at the Weather Center and at Mitchell. Waukesha reports 50. Other observer team members, uh, Toby and Menominee Falls, 51. Kenosha, 49. Racine, 48. The dew point, dry at 33, 47 percent. The humidity, wind southwest at 7, pressure rising, 2986. And did you know, or do you care, that it's approaching winter now in the southern hemisphere down here where storms are developing? But up here, look right here. This is west of Seattle and Portland. This storm is what could give us the thunderstorms late in the weekend. Today, lots of storms off to the west in the Rockies. Let's close on in a little bit. You can see a frontal system out there on the other side of the front. Hot, nation's hot spot today, Coolidge, Arizona, 105 degrees. But cool high pressure, and tomorrow doesn't move, move very much, so we stay dry around the Midwest. More thunderstorms out in the west and the east, fairly dry, a shower here or there. Temperatures tomorrow, still cool around the Midwest, 50s and 60s. You want to warm up, 80s in Florida, 80s in the plains, and 90s in the desert southwest. Around our state, kind of a quiet day, partly cloudy. Winds fairly calm, you know what that means, cooler near the lake. 50s near the lake in the afternoon, but 60s inland. My forecast for tonight, becoming partly cloudy, lows 40 to 45. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, high 60 to 65, but as I mentioned, turning cooler close to the lake. For tomorrow night, becoming mostly clear with lows 40 to 45. And the start of your weekend looks pretty good. Partly cloudy, a little warmer Saturday, high 60 at the lakefront, but 70 inland. Get to Sunday, still fairly mild, but a chance of some scattered thunderstorms. And then, unfortunately, it looks like cooling off early next week with highs dropping back into the 50s. But Saturday, nice day. Not bad. And before long, it'll be in the 80s and 90s. Well, <laughs> well uh, ho hopefully not and too much longer. And people complain it's too warm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Well, next in sports, a beautiful day turns sour for the Brewers. But it was a sweet night for Charles Barkley as he boots the Spurs out of the playoffs. It's amazing how much some Cadillacs can cost. But now, take a look at how little one can cost. With $3,490 in total savings, the 1993 Special Edition DeVille is as comfortable on your wallet as it is on the road. And speaking of driving, swing by your southeastern Wisconsin Cadillac dealer and register to win a set of Tommy Armour golf clubs. You'll look as good on the fairway as you do on the freeway. I moved here about two years ago from Indiana and my property taxes tripled. My property taxes stink. Our wallets are getting thinner and thinner. They're too high. Way too high. I think a rate freeze is an excellent idea. My taxes could still go up, but at least it's a start. It's a start. It's not the total answer, but at least it's a start. Should there be a tax rate freeze, you make the call. 1-800-261-2000. I'm going to call. Sofas now 168. Dual reclining sofas now 448. Storewide spring cleanup clear out continues through Sunday at Calder's. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
balancing a sail so big, you'll wonder how he managed to pull yeah. it off. Boston Stores 12-Hour Sale, this Saturday. Stores open at 9 a.m. At Boston Store, you come to the right place. There are cars with advanced engineering. There are cars that make you comfortable. There are cars that are well protected. There are cars that protect their occupants well. There are cars equipped the way you want. And cars that are easy to own now. Which one should be your new car? All of the above. Chevy Lumina Euro Sedan. Test drive a Chevy Lumina Euro today at your neighborhood Chevrolet dealer. Kevin Hunt, Sports. Today's TMJ4. Get your sports from a guy like me who knows what it's like to have a groin injury. <laughs> Are you ready for this sports cast? Here we go. Ah, I don't think so. Some things are better left unwrapped. So many good things happened to the Brewers today. It's a shame it turned out so bad against Detroit. There are some great defensive plays like this hustle by Daryl Hamilton to make a catch in foul territory. Robin Yount not to be left out. Beautiful diving grab. Yount was doing it at the plate too. This base hit drives in Listash. Brewers will lead 2-0. And with the way Bill Wegman was pitching, that looks safe. Seven strong innings against those mean Tiger bats. But Wegman loads the bases in the eighth, and Doug Henry comes in with no outs. And here it comes. Tony Phillips, boom, gets the barrage started with the shot to the wall. Two runs come in to tie it. Henry will leave after letting four score. The Tigers will score six in the inning after Henry Graham Lloyd gives it a shot. Watch this throw to third. Off just a bit, the Tigers sweep the Brewers for the first time in nine years. Final six to two. Once you get into a jam, you like to work your way out of it, and uh, especially with the game on the line. So, but you know, Phil, Doug came in last week and did a good job, picked me up. So, uh, I don't have any problem with that. He doesn't deserve that loss. You know, if they give it to me, I take it in RB. You know, like, you know, he pitches, he pitches tail end off. You know, like, you hate to see a guy go out there and do like he did today and then get a loss out of it. Okay, kids, this next uh, video, a reminder for you, always keep your eye on the ball. White Sox batter George Bell calls time. Pitcher Joe Gray doesn't see the call. And catcher John Orton is already spitting when he gets bumped upside the head. Orton glad it wasn't a fastball. Cleveland at Baltimore, and here comes our catch of the day. Orioles' Mark McLemore will leap to rob Carlos Martinez of the home run. Cleveland go on to win this game 3-1, but McLemore will be on everyone's highlight reel for this fabulous thievery. All right, game time's kid. Rock, rock, paper, rock, 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 scissors, rock, 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 paper, 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 scissors. Ah, shucks, I win. All right, another coach moving on in the NBA. Larry Brown resigns from the Clippers. By the end of his career, we'll probably have coached every NBA team. Now the Phoenix Suns out to eliminate Brown's former team, San Antonio, tonight. And this is a reminder of those Milwaukee days for Dale Ellis. Really misses the three. The Suns take it the other way. Charles Barkley for the slam. Comes down to Barkley in the end. Game tied at 100 apiece. Barkley takes it from the top of the key. Good. The Suns move to the Western Finals. Phoenix 102, San Antonio 100. New York Islanders hosting Montreal. Another overtime game tied at one when Montreal's Guy Carboneau gets the game winner. The final score, Montreal 2-1. to one. The Canadians lead that series 3 to nothing. Wow. Right. wow. And no rapping, so maybe I'll save that for another day. <laughs> Darn it. And no groin injuries. <laughs> okay. All right, Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Back with a musical extravaganza you won't want to miss. But first, here are tonight's winning pick three numbers, one, one, three. And the super cash numbers for tonight are 8, 12, 14, 15, 20, and 25. This is the 190 horsepower Jeep Cherokee Sport. Nice. But suppose we made it even nicer. Suppose we added air conditioning, automatic, tilt steering, and a roof rack. And suppose for all that, all you wanted to pay was this. And suppose we said, okay, yes, now you can get all this, but all you have to pay is this. At your Jeep and Eagle dealer. But hurry, you don't suppose a lease like this will last for long, do you? Uncle Tim's remodeling lesson number one. Go to Builder Square. Yeah, that's where your folks saved on everything to fix up the bathroom. Yeah. Do it yourself. It's fun, huh? Yep. Why don't you go downstairs, ask your mom for some lemonade? Someday I'll tell them about lesson number two. Builder Square also does installation. Oh, 
Square, the warehouse and everything for your house, even installation. He was smart. He was fast. And he knew what to aim for. At high noon, he made his move. He went to Best Buy to round up 0% financing for one year on TVs, VCRs, camcorders, plus stereos, speakers, and components. With 0% for one year at Best Buy this week, you just can't miss. The GMC Sierra is already loaded with a very powerful V6 engine and rear-wheel anti-lock brakes, standard. And now, we've dropped in a few extras. Like air conditioning, a killer stereo, power windows, power locks, and tilt wheel. Now, how do we load you into a Sierra? with a chance to win Harley-Davidson 90th Anniversary Reunion Tickets with any test drive at your GMC Truck and Team Dealers. Nice start to Friday. Tomorrow you get up partly cloudy and 46 degrees. Who can complain? Nobody. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Finally, tonight's cheers may now be a piece of history, but its legacy lives on. A local tribute tonight to everybody's favorite tavern. Good night. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you. How's it going, Daddy? Sometimes you want to go. Where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Do, do, do. You want to be where you People know. People are all the same. You wanna go where everybody knows.